Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Max with A1 Website Pro and today we're just going to show you how to do a little simple JavaScript, HTML, and CSS quiz. So here you see, uh, uh, the, this is an example of what we'll be learning. True or false, the sky is blue. If you hit true, it's going to say that is correct. If you hit false, that is incorrect. And so without fur further ado, we'll jump right into our lesson. We'll start with the bare bones of an HTML document and uh, we're going to have a quiz here. So <clears throat> the, the, one of the first things that you want to do, we, you could put in an H1, we'll put in an H1 tag here, H1, and we'll just call this quiz. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll drop down here and we'll start with a, a div, give it an ID, and we'll call this one a question. Okay. And then we'll put the closing div tag in there. And then we'll ask the question, true or false? The sky is blue. Okay. So uh, let me go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and load up our index file right here. And you can see it's starting up. So we have our H1 tag, true or false, the sky is blue. Next thing we got to get into is putting our buttons in. So we're going to go down here, start with a button tag. Okay. And go ahead and copy them. Paste it right below. And this one will be our true button. Okay. This one here will be our false button. Okay. And so if we save that, check out our HTML document. We can see that we have our buttons true or false, but they're not functioning. They're not doing anything. So that's where this JavaScript is going to come in handy. So right here, we're going to jump down below the uh, buttons and start with our script tag. We're going to go right in here and type in uh, function. Now we're going to use T-R-U-E-E. -E. Now the reason why we don't use true is because it's already a function within JavaScript, so we don't want to confuse the program. So we're going to do it like this. Now, <clears throat> when you're creating functions in JavaScript, it's always function, the name of the function, open and closing uh, parenthesis, open and closing curly brackets, okay? Then we go inside these curly brackets, and that's where we could start making the magic happen. Okay, so what we're going to do is type in document dot get element by id okay now here i'm targeting the document get element well, it might help if i spell it right e l e m e and by id now this this is called camel casing the first letter is lowercase then we have uppercase on all of them and then the next thing we'll do is we'll open and close uh, parentheses and inside there we'll put some single quotes and what we want to do is we want to target the div ID of questions so I'm just going to copy that put that right down there and then we'll put dot inner HTML just like that equals quotes all right so now this is the one true and then we'll say if that's true we'll say that is correct okay and let's go ahead and create another function. And we'll call this one F-A-L-S-E. Now, we don't want to use false, but with, with another E on there. And here we will target the same div of question, but we'll say that is not correct. Okay. And finally, we have to include these functions in our buttons on, on the onClick event. So inside the button, we'll type in onClick equals okay and then we'll call our function of true and our true one and then let me just go ahead and copy this little thing be more efficient it's always good to copy and paste in programming and this one will be false f-e-l-s-e-e -E -E. okay so let's go ahead and save this and go to our uh, um, html document true and if we answer false, that is not correct, okay? So that's pretty simple, pretty straight to the point. Um, you could go ahead and um, we, we'll go ahead and go into this a little bit further. And uh, maybe we want the uh, when, uh, whenever true 
is uh, the correct answer is highlighted. Maybe we want it to turn green. So in order to make it green, what we want to do is target that same div of question, but instead of inner HTML, we want to do dot style dot color, and then we want to make it color green. Okay, and then of course, if they click the false one, we're going to make that color red. Okay, so here's what's going on. We're target. We're still targeting the if true's clicked. These things are going to happen right here within this function. If false is clicked, these things are going to happen, right? So let's go ahead and save that. Make sure we get our color change whenever we click on our buttons. True or false, the sky is blue. We've got the green color there. If we hit false, then we have the red color. Let's say that we wanted to change the text to all uppercase. Well, let's go ahead and do that. And that we're going to do that with another style. So actually, I can copy this paste that in there and type in text transform and notice I'm camel casing text transform because that's, that's the way they do it we'll type in uppercase just like that and uh, I'll just I could actually use this exact same function for the false button as well okay so let me go back to the uh, HTML document and if I hit true if I hit false I'm not getting the uh, uppercase. So, let me see what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, I misspelled transform. Text transform. All right. Now let's save that and then we'll do the refresh. And we see that we get our uppercase letters. This is Max with AIM Website Pro. I hope you uh, liked this little tutorial. Hope it was able to help somebody out. Thanks. Bye.